Hello, welcome back to another Thrifty Thursday. It's Angela. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, uh, welcome. I thank you. Uh, as you may or may not know, I do lots and lots of paper crafting, junk journals, tons of DIY projects, and I also love thrifting for vintage treasures. And today, a special shout out to a bullet from my snail mail. I love that name. <laughs> Woodland Inspired and Sunshine Pam. Welcome. Thanks for your comments and for subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. And for those have been, who have been around for a while, uh, thank you. Uh, you. Your friendship means a ton to me. So here's a quick little um, haul. I, Dave and I went out. He needed to get out of the house and um, he wanted a smoothie. So we went to uh, do that. And I said, well, since we're at the smoothie place, I think we should probably go into the thrift store, which is right next to it. And he said, I, you know, I could stand to walk around for a while. So he indulged me. He bought one book um, and I bought all the rest. And one was this quilt. Now, what's interesting about this quilt, I don't know if you can tell, but you can um, see this kind of circle pattern. It's very consistent. It's very, um, you know, it's just very neat, very tidy. This, where the blocks have been put together, as well as all these, all hand stitched. This was $15. It is in perfect condition. And what I think happened, um, my, my grandma used to do these a lot when she um, was, when she had her, well, she still has her long arm when she would do that and quilt for others. But people would finish a quilt top, but yet they wouldn't get it quilted. So they wouldn't put the batting in it. They wouldn't finish the back and so on and so forth. This is finished just with a regular cotton. So you can tell it's, you know, been clearly machine stitched or, long, you know, with a long arm. And but everything else was hand stitched or hand quilted. So I was really thrilled to have got this and I got it for $15. Now I'm going to tell you something. Mo, who was my grandma, Mo has always told me, if you get a quilt, you need to use it. Don't just shove it in the closet and keep it because it's special. Use your quilts. And I have, you know, I have a few that are special, but um, for the most part, I use my quilts. And when I find them like this, I will, I will use them. Now, I will be doing some digitals with these, uh, but then it's going to go on display in uh, the family room, which you probably saw some of those quilts if you watched. Um, it would have been the second 2022 craft room tour where we talked about using your uh, living space to um, craft. And I have them, a bunch of them on a ladder. I have bunch, a bunch of them in the kids' old cradle. And, you know, some I think are just prettier than others. So I just keep them on the thing. But the other ones are in that basket. They, we use them. So, you know, they have stood the the test of time for sure. So the other thing that I found was this. Now I am a sucker for, I have several um, baby blankets that are like the, would be the equivalent to like an Afghan or a, you know, crocheted or crocheted baby blanket uh, that I will be selling in one of my sales um, once Jeannie and I start doing them. But this one, okay, I know I had a blanket out of this kind of fabric. It's kind of silky. I had a, a comforter, I mean, and I think it had, had like lavenders and purples and it, I feel like it had this <laughs> sheen to it. I don't know. I had something in my life that was like this. Now, I know you can't tell. It's not really showing up in the in the picture, but this is really yellow. It's like almost, it's just a little lighter than this yellow. Um, but it is in perfect condition, clearly from probably the 50s or 60s. Uh, it's gorgeous. It's quilted. Um, it's fresh out of the wash, but this will be going on one of my live sales and it's, it's pretty big. But, and this was probably, you know, like a baby crib size. But wouldn't this be awesome if you had like a grandbaby and or or, a, you know, you had a baby and you wanted to do a nursery and all vintage? Oh, my goodness. This would be awesome. So I was excited about that. I kind of want to just snuggle up with it, but I probably won't. So those are I'll show you all my non 
related junk journal things. So the other thing that I found were two or two old stock. So um, new in package, Noma. These are probably from, I'd say maybe, I don't know, maybe it says on there. Probably 70s, 80s maybe. I'd have to go back um, because the it's got a little bit more modern sticker and it does have a UPC or a barcode. So probably 80s, I would think. But I thought they were cute. I did buy a whole bunch of other ones that were not in the box, uh, but I'm going to do some assemblages for um, a variety, for myself and for a variety of holidays. So those will probably be on live sales too. And then the last thing that I got... So I'm hoping Meg at Chasing Retro will be watching this because I know she will love this as much as I do. But I got a Christmas stocking. Look at that. Like, if this doesn't scream 70s, I don't know what. This is like my era. <laughs> uh, I love the colors. It kind of reminds me of Holly Hobby. Um, but it's just very simple. It's um, just a simple little quilted vintage stocking. I just couldn't resist. It's just super, super cute. This I will probably keep and display on, you know, in my little vintage display pieces. So that's all of the things that I got that were non junk journal related. And then I got this. This was two bucks. They, they must have had a lot of fabric come in. Uh, there was tons of it, but I just looked and this was the only one I found that kind of caught my eye and that I knew had some vintage fabrics. So again, you always know if it's already cut out, I'm probably going to buy it. But these are all the solids. I did separate this before. These are like, just imagine the knit, like the knit jumpsuits or pantsuits that women used to wear in the, you know, 60s, 70s. <laughs> That's all this is, is that kind of polyester... Well, it's, it's not too, it's not really scratchy though. Poly knit. Well, look at that. So I got all of that, which I love. So a lot, most of this will go in kits. I always keep a little bit for myself and then the rest go to kits. Some of this, like this to me, I think is newer, uh, but there is a lot of old in there. Um, that is not quilted. That's just a fabric. So some of these are a little bit, newer. these are older. Oh, there's some really cool ones. So these are all just a smidgy newer. And then we'll get down to the older ones in a while. And then this, there's a ton of this orange. I like this color. And there's green. Some peach. This is cool. I'm going to have to pull out a little bit of this. Um, this I can use, I think, in my in my Wizard of Oz journals, but then the rest, I don't really do um, Halloween journals, so someone else is getting the rest of it. That. Now we're getting older, as you can tell. Oops, there's a solid I missed. And some more of these. There we have it. And then the last stack, probably are the oldest, all ready to make a quilt, which you know me, it's not going to happen. Um, but there's all of these that are red, white, and blue. These would be cute to make all kinds of things, banners and whatnot. And then there's just a tiny stack of really, really old vintage fabrics. These are cool. That's pretty. Yeah. Look at that. And that was that bag. I think this was $2. I think, I think. So I need to sort through that. Put, put everything in my two-cell pile. And I have one that's just all, you know, fabrics and sewing and that kind of thing. And then I did find two books. I found another Frosty book. I never passed this one up. So I have that. And you guys have seen that before. And then this was kind of cool. Music Now and Long Ago. 
and, and this is from when? 1956, but it's kind of got some cool illustrations in it. Polly Parakeet. So I like that a lot. And I don't know, I don't know how much their books are anymore. They keep changing. And then I did find, these were a dollar. These were are just plastic placemats. So there is this one. It's kind of cute. And then this one. And I just use those when I dye my papers. So that was kind of fun. And then last, certainly not least, we have this. Oh, wait, there's more stuff in here. I forgot. Well, let's turn it this way. So this is full of these, not full, but three quarters of the way full of these uh, policy or policy envelope, uh, window envelopes. So I grabbed those to put in kits and then I told you I wasn't going to buy any cards, but these I couldn't pass up. This was a dollar, two dollars for all four of them. But look how we got Huckleberry Hound. So these will be cute for kids. And I have a whole bunch of Disney. I don't do Disney, but I need to do a whole live sale just on Disney. Um, all of these. Those are cute. There's some that I think look, they're, it's Norman Rockwell, but I, I wanted them for these three, but I got the Norman Rockwell ones with them too. So those I can put in kits and they're all the same card or put in my Etsy sales and that, all of that good stuff. And then this one I loved. Look at those. Aren't those fun? You only get half of them. You got to put it together. So I got those. And then... I picked up a little thing of sequins that needs to go over here in my pile. I did get um, a bunch of these because I like to use those. You know how we made the dangles for Sewing Notion Sunday. So I've got a bunch of those so I don't have to dig into my nice ones. And they're, I mean, they're kind of a mess already. So they'll, they'll be perfect. I got some more bags. Oh, I didn't realize there was gold ones too. To put in um, my Etsy orders. Got some more little baby beads. That goes with my bling. And I did pick up some Mary Englebright note cards that are Christmas. So I'll, I'll put that with all my Christmas goodies. And then last but not least, I found, you know, I never, I always look, but I know, I know I'm never going to find anything I like, but they had these stamps in there with all the other stamps that I did not need. So there were two of these. And I printed them, and they say, one says, attempted, not known, and it's got the zip, zip code, and this one says, no set, return to sender, no such street. I thought those were cute. Winning. So those will go in, remember I have the dough bowl that I have all my, like, vintage little tchotchkes in, and so they will go in there. And that, my friends, I think is it. But kind of a nice little, you know, it was just a quick little haul, but... It was fun, and Dave went with me, so that made it even better. Um, but again, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and that life is treating you well. Remember to take time to just be, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.